We're plotting an adventure tomorrow, me and a couple of boys. I'm gonna pack super duper light. I say that, and I got about 20 kilos worth of GoPro, drones, bullcrap, batteries. <laughs> Everything else though, super light, just only an overnighter. Once we've figured out all the shit we actually want to take, I'm gonna jam it on in like a game of Tetris, and that'll be that. Oh, grunter. You're not grunting. Why? Why is this so? Which way are we going down here? I've got a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna sort our problem out. Yeah. It's on the ground, man. Oh, what was it? Go away. That's what I was, eh? It's a long way down for you. I didn't know that was going to be there. Shit! Shit, Pedro! Are you okay? <laughs> Oh, my jingoes! Too much. My jingoes! Why didn't you get to lift the front wheel? You alright? Yeah, no, I'm fine. We've got something broken, though. Oh, that's mine. Oh, my jingoes. Just roll, just try and just roll up and over that. Dave was horrified. He was like, oh, holy shit. <laughs> I was pretty scared. <laughs> I was very scared. I plotted this ride off my GPS and probably didn't take into account how slippery and steep some of the hills would be on a big bike, so uh, <laughs> we had a bit of drama getting the big KDM up, so we had to swing a U-bolt and uh, go back down and double back on this track, which put us a little bit out of our way and the boys lost a little bit of confidence in my navigation skills. Especially on that greasy shit, ain't it? Yeah, and the heavy gear <laughs> too. Weight around, so like pushing the front. Well, I've around. noticed you do a bit of a oh, I want to miss that, and you go like that, and then there's like a three second delay. <laughs> wow, and you're like, whoa, I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Skip the whole bush. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 
pop out of Murrindindi and uh, at the top of this track Dave says there's gates down there that are usually locked you can't get through and I said no nah. been there many times Dave there's ga- never any gates you can always get through so uh, as you as you'll see we uh that's us coming back up the track because uh yeah the gates were locked and Dave was right and now all faith in Aiden's uh navigation skills have been lost dark in the distance why We're back on exactly where we want to be. That's spot on. Magical. Uh, Nobody believes you. No one wants to be on this hill, mate. So the boys had lost a bit of faith after the six-hour round trip at the Black Range State Forest, and uh, we had to make a bit of a V-line. Get to Mary's for lunch by about two o'clock, I think it was by this stage. So we shot through Buxton and uh, went up. Actually, went up the bitumen straight into Marysville. Starting to get a bit peckish, not gonna lie. I did what, 110 or something. Mm. And you want some of our lunch, old mate? Oh, yes, please. Oh, yeah, and you. That was the first time I've seen a parks officer when I've been riding a motorcycle and I didn't panic. (laughs) (laughs) Camberville picnic area. Lunch table. Old Love's house. 
views off the side of Campbellville Road are just absolutely stunning and you, you've got to be careful because you find yourself mesmerised by the view and not concentrating on riding your dirt bike. Party's I'm on that side now. <laughs> I don't think that's much, and that's no better at all. Have you ever gone to have a wee in motorbike pants and not been able to see your doodle and not had your doodle out, pissed a bit in your pants? That'd be bad, wouldn't it? Because you wouldn't know until you started pissing. The worst part is this is horrendously slippery, so I've got to hope I get some form of traction. But we'll be right. Yeah. I might go over, there's a spot over here I reckon it'd be easy. That was never going to happen downhill with slippery red clay trying to pop a mono. That was not... All of the geometry was all fucked up. I don't even think you can begin to understand how slippery red shiny clay is with uh, off-road tyres that are, that are road legal, <laughs> but I'm sure this gives you a good, uh, good indication. <laughs> that could have been catastrophic! This is the bit I remember.
United Camp. <laughs> I really enjoyed coming down there. That would have been really different if it was wet. That's as good as it gets. It was, that was just, right, yeah, it was yeah. just enough. Yep. Just, yep. It does look like it goes up a, a decent. Fuck yeah. I'll go and have an investigate, will I? If that comes down, if that goes up. Holy fuck bags. Hang on to your pants and jacket. Jesus Christ. We ain't getting up that. Me drunk. That's a Sherco hill, that bastard. That's definitely a Sherco hill, that one. Jesus, that's got some gnar about it. Fuck, we did. Turn at that turn and go again. Yeah, she kept going. Yeah, there was a couple of trees over though. great day I've had. <laughs> Thanks gentlemen. That was sensational. A little river crossing at the end there to nowhere. <laughs> yeah, absolutely nowhere. Fucking beautiful. Yeah. What does the timer tell me? 33 minutes and 47 seconds. <laughs> That's right on. Fucking three minutes set up my shrinkter. <laughs> 30, 30 Here it is though, have a look at it. What a, what a spot to sleep, Alton Goods. 
Boom, right here by the river, undercover, sneak and rear, unzip, mosquito free. I got me fishing rod, me thermos, got a cup of tea in it, of course. Let me go at that. Thought I have a telescopic fishing rod. How good's living? Wouldn't be dead for quids, would you? This is cool as cat shit. Have a look in here. <laughs> I just found the fishing hole. Oh man. Look at this for a fishing spot. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't, know if you can, I don't know if you can see in the GoPro light. <laughs> Premium reserve Merlot. We got, the, we got the goon bag. In the bag. Debortly, she's Debortly, she's yeah. top shelf. Oh, it's fucking nice. Mate. Anyway, cheers, gents. Yeah, cheers. Hey, a little bit red. Yeah. A little bit. Jeez, that's a that's fine drop. That's nice, mate. That is nice. actually really good. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. That'll go good nice. with me, Lamb Vindaloo. <laughs> Two litres of devoutly less. That should be the rocket ship today. Have a look at old shivering tent set up out the back there, would you? I was freezing my ass off last night in that thing. I like the design. I like the setup. Fuck, I was cold. Pete's got the tent that he's had since he was 12 years old. <laughs> he gave all his good shit to his daughter. So he's just rocking this old bad boy. Still going though. Where'd it come from? Woolworths or something. Woolworths. Woolworths. Look at all the room in this. Oh. Bet he was warmer than I was in me hammock. Because we'd done so many k's the day before, we weren't, uh, we didn't have a, a planned route for the way home, so we we're just sort of making our way back through Enox Point. There's a there's a bunch of random houses out in the middle of nowhere. Kind of cool to have a look at. Storage cemetery. To the cemetery, you got to walk 170 meters. What does that even mean? Don't jump across a. A ledge? <laughs> hmm. There's the parcels of land. Yeah. Township yeah, of Enox yeah. Point. There you go. Holy shit. I guess if you're going to go somewhere, if you lived out here, this is where you'd want to go, isn't it? Huh. Pretty interesting. Man, there's some holes here, though. Obviously mining. And they've just left them. Whoa. <laughs> am, I, am I reading this correctly? That they're saying that this started because people were digging up the bodies and then yeah. finding gold in the undisturbed ground yeah. under the... Dolphins. In the grass. Wow. Because yeah. they've already dug a hole. Yeah, well. So they've started. Fucking hard work, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the expression. That's rough. Why are you down there? <laughs> now, 
Now that's cool. What a spot. Hyundai in here. <laughs> cool little spot. Little wild dog. That's crazy. Yeah. Looks like a bloody, looks like a German Shepherd. <laughs>